Hey Wallace, I see you are working on a joystick and the NBA hang time is coming along. Reglued. Control panels over there. Aha. Uh -huh. No, okay, that's good. control panel or something. Yep, else. okay, that's a different one. <laughs> working on this hang time. Yeah, really nice dedicated hang time. You don't see many dedicated. That is coming along nice. Uh, oh, but wait a minute. This is an overhaul for a customer. He brought his ugly centipede in, and he actually had purchased a new overlay, but when he looked at the trouble it was going to be, he decided not to tackle it. He says, I'm gonna bring it here. We did an overhaul for him of his uh, Terminator 2 pinball machine. Actually, you can see that video, because about a month ago we put, posted that, and he dropped this off when he picked up the Terminator. And we put his new overlay on, but we had to scrape the old one off. Oh, is that hell. Wallace, do you like scraping off old overlays? Yeah, I do a lot of them. No problem. <laughs> okay. He loves it. You heard him, Wallace. Loves it. You love it. Say he loves it. He loves scraping off. You better off. hope he loves it or else you'll have to do him. Well, Wallace also managed to, uh, of course, we put a new button on the fire button. Thing, but we, we rebuilt the, the, the um, trackball with new rollers and oiled it so it's beautiful. Doesn't the green tea molding look better than the black? Yes, it does. Teamolding.com. His marquee, glass marquee, was still in good shape, but we had to repaint the corner because it was a little ugly. It was peeling. Front three painted black, but look what Stephen did to this cabinet. Now, if you watch one of the other videos, uh, Stephen, you were working on this when we did Asteroids? Keep it just running together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do it again, Walsh. What did? <sighs> oh man, we, we're just. Well, now let me tell you a little secret. It's actually, a big secret. We take this wood off. Actually, this one was cracked in half, so we made a new one on. But we put screw holes in. Originally, Atari nailed that baby in. We take that off because then we can get to the television. This is a G07 in here. The chassis's been rebuilt with new parts. But you see, if the customer has a problem down the road, he's never going to be able to get his hands in there to get it out. So rather than take the whole monitor out of the front, which is what you will have to do to fix your centipede if you need to get the monitor out to get the chassis out, if you take this wood off and then put screws in, you can take this wood off, and then you can get to the screws on the chassis without taking the whole thing out and risking breaking the neck of the tube. Good. Now, inside, we've done our Atari Big Blue, which is now black, as you know, a new fuse block. Uh, the uh, power supply has all new Bob Roberts caps, and the other cap too. We took his logic board out and cleaned it. The board was running, so the good news is when he brought it to us, it was just plain ugly, and uh, there was a monitor issue. And the cabinet was ugly. We've got new casters on it. We have, uh, of course, we did coin lights and a fluorescent bulb. But, oh, you know what, Frank? <laughs> We've got so much stuff coming in. Look, look at that. Isn't that nice? Just beautiful piece of equipment. We still have it on uh, coin up because I wasn't sure whether he wanted to be on the free play yet. I remember buying these brand new in the box, $29.99. They weren't cheap, or maybe $28.99, somewhere around there. But this was one of the few games that actually made money. I wanted to show you something, too, that you might find this fascinating. Let me, let me put it on test to stop it. See, Atari was putting two coin meters on, one for one side and one for the other. So you could write down the numbers. Now, this game has... Just, gosh, almost even, 31,000 on each meter. That means the game took in 62,000 quarters. I'm sure the last bunch of those was from um, Free Play or something, or uh, uh, free games in the guy's house. But the game took in, if we were putting a quarter in each time, 15,000 bucks. So this would have been one of the profitable games. There weren't many of them. Hmm. But we think our customer is going to be very happy with his restoration, it generally costs 
depending on what we have to do, we didn't have to supply the overlay. Generally costs between six and eight hundred to have us restore something, plus special artwork if needed. Like if we needed to put new side art on it, we'd have to buy the side art and apply it. But the original side art's beautiful. One Stephen put his pen on it, right? All Magic done with a ballpoint pen. pen. Paint Don't pen. you use a ballpoint pen to paint everything? Magic pen, get it right. The magic pen. <laughs> Look, Gladiator. It's coming along. Look, Kings of Steel. Almost finished. We have one more plastic. It's almost done. It's this spectacular. And back here, we spotted it, a Buck Rogers with some neat LED mods. I'm going to point them out to you when it's finished. The cabinet has not been painted. See, Stephen has not gotten a chance to get his mitts on it yet. See, all this orange has to be redone and such. But boy, what a beautiful play field. And look, we're going to put one meteor together. Oh, no, wait, take it back. We're going to put two meteors together to make one. Here's an interesting thing. We have a very nice cabinet with a crappy play field. And we have a crappy cabinet with a beautiful play field. So you can see what we're going to do. And also coming, then again, so is Christmas, it is Grand Lizard. And Stephen's finishing a joust. All upcoming in our future films. Yeah.